Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today it's not a happy day, but still I have to share with you because I've always shared with you my 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 happiness. So it's also time to share with you my grief, guys. I am at a burial place, and yes, I want to show you how we do it the traditional way, guys. How we bury the traditional way. So right now I'm already at the burial um, place. Right behind me, the small tents, as you can see, those are relatives and. People who have come to mourn with the family, and maybe they are from far places, and that is where they are supposed to sleep. They are going to spend the night in those tents, or maybe in case it rains, or even indoors because you don't share the tents with your um, indoors don't go together. So that is why around them. You don't even able to see. That is where the grave is. So come with me, and I show you where. And then we are headed straight to the tent because prayers has just started. And yes, I want you to always know what happens from the start to the end. So it starts with prayers like it's happening, and then definitely I'm going to be showing you what happens each after the other. Let's go to the tent for prayers. So what normally happens at a, a burial ceremony such as this one, the ladies have to dress very decently and you don't have to wear uh, or do makeup or be so shiny, like looking so bright. And that is the reason you're seeing me covering my hair because it was a styled hair. And also you tie a, head, uh, a wrapper around your waist. Still, that's a sign of decency and mourning at the same time. Now what happens is, when the dead body is finally brought home from the hospital, it spends one more last night in his or her house before it is taken out the next morning for prayers. And that is exactly what is happening here. And then what happens is from the prayer grounds, the close family member sits near the casket, just like you're seeing in the video here. Meanwhile, the rest of the mourners always sit at the shades provided. And it's also our tradition that in any gathering, whether it's a burial like this one, there is always a meal that is served at the end of it. And that is the reason you see these people are here cooking. So this food is going to be served to everyone who has come for the burial ceremony. Later on, the family members decided to give a package to the church to show appreciation. The package included some fruits like pineapples, bananas, and the rest. And this is not a must for everyone. It's a choice, though these people chose to do it. And then after that, there was Holy Communion served. This is only done for Christians and not just any kind of Christians, but Christians who are uh, wedded in church. And that was the case for this particular person. She was wedded in church. And just after that, there was offertory. This particular one goes to the church. And then also for the Catholics, this is what they always do. They do a blessing of the casket during the prayer ceremony as well. And that is why you are seeing the priests doing that. After that, there was wreath laying, which is normally done by all mourners starting from the family members to friends, relatives, and anyone who has their own wreath. This is finally concluded by the priests. 
and giving is also a big tradition in our culture and that is the reason you see in the video people are contributing money and whatever they have to the bereaved family this directly goes to them because it helps them to host the people they have around meanwhile other people bring animals drinks foodstuffs and whatever they have and that is what is happening right here And finally, when prayers are done, the body of the deceased is then carried and taken to its final resting place, which is the grave. And that is exactly what is happening in the video here. A final prayer is then made just by the gravesite before the body has been lowered into the grave and that is always done by the priests. And then also the grave is cleansed or rather blessed by the priest. This is done because we believe we are sending the soul of the deceased to eternal rest. And then finally, the casket was lowered into the grave by a group of youth who are usually selected by the organizing committee of the ceremony. The same selected group of youth then cover on top of the casket with either iron sheets like you're seeing here or even wire mesh and then eventually everyone near the grave is supposed to either pick soil or even flowers if available and throw onto the grave. That's a sign that you have buried your dear one. So guys, what happens is um, when the burial procession is actually done, we have to dine together with the bereaved family. And this is a sign to show that we are one. We've got to share the pain and everything. So we also get a meal, the last meal together with them. So that is the reason we are served uh, at the bereaved family. And then lastly, for the elderly, there is a special dance which is made at the end of the ceremony. This is a sign that we are celebrating the deceased and rather not mourning because they have lived a life just as expected. This is not done for children or youth but only for the elderly. <laughs> <laughs> 